Well, hello everyone out there in Facebook land. This is Jacob Ortiz here outside of the parking lot of the Church of God of Prophecy here in Simi Valley, in beautiful Simi Valley. Um, it is a very gorgeous and lovely afternoon. Here to give you your parking lot at words of encouragement for today, April 15th? 2022 as today is good friday this is the friday before easter the day of resurrection um usually and of course um i always say this my wife's inside with the main worship team preparing for this sunday um which will be a very special service every service is special when we're serving the lord um I actually came out here. They're preparing. Um, I will actually be with the worship team this Sunday, uh, joining together with them um, for a blessed Sunday service. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I want to turn to the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. I want to turn to another very, very famous scripture, and if you're a believer in Christ, you know this one very well. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is definitely the scripture that we all know and that we all to adhere to. But it doesn't end there. I want to continue reading into 17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him be saved. He who believes in, in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe in him is condemned already because he, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I want you to know the name of that person that was bruised, that was struck, that was torn down physically. The one who carried the cross into Calvary was Jesus, the one true son, the one true king of this world. And through him, we have everlasting life. It is only through him we have everlasting life. That is so important for each and every one of us to understand that the Lord Jesus did that for you, did that for me did that for this whole world. That he took the pain, the anguish, the fear, the sin, the temptation, the lust, the everything that we will do. He put it on that cross, he took it to hell and said that it will stay there as he rose on the third day. It's important for each of us to remember what Jesus did for us. He died for us. He was bruised for us. He was torn down for us. That is something we cannot forget. Jesus now more than ever is needed in each and one of our lives. No matter what you're going through, He has done it already. The battle is already won. He has conquered hell, the grave, and this world. He has conquered it all. And we can't thank Him enough for that and I know you guys can see it right there there's that cross right there on our church and it says he has risen on that third day that stone rolled and he arose the true son of God and became the ruler of this world no matter what you're going through no matter you know the amazing things that you have seen or the amazing trials that you have seen or have gone through. It is through the power of Jesus that pushes you through anything, whether good or bad. 
You didn't think you could do this, but sure enough, he got you through it. You didn't think you were going to deal with something so horrendous, but he got you through it. Um, my, my, myself and my family were here Wednesday night for prayer service and hearing the amazing testimonies of each person that attended. It wasn't many, but each person that attended and what the power of Christ has done for them. And that we say thank you. Now more than ever, now more than ever, we have to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for rising on that third day. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for entering the temple that is me. Not that building. No. It's a house of God. It's a house of worship. But the true temple is right here in the heart. Right here. That's what you need. I say this. Open your heart to Jesus. Open your heart. I pray that if it's this Sunday, it's this Sunday. I, but I pray that if you haven't truly seeked him, seek him now. Because he is coming. He is truly coming. Okay? He rose from that cross. And he ascended into heaven. The next time he comes, it's going to be in the clouds in the sky on a horse. Ready to fight our battle. The end battle. And I believe that day is coming soon. So, God bless you. God keep you. And come to church on Sunday. Wherever you're at, go to church. Open your heart to the Lord. Give him that opportunity to show immense miracles that he is still doing in your life. This is Jacob Ortiz here outside of the Church of God of Prophecy here in Simi Valley saying God bless you. God keep you. He has risen. He has risen. He has risen and he's coming back. God bless you. God keep you and let Jesus enter your heart.